It was 13 years ago, and the holiday of Pesach was approaching. My husband and I, along with our 14-month-old daughter, Hadassah, were living in Crown Heights, New York at the time, and we decided to go visit my mother-in-law in Montreal and spend the holiday with her, and my parents were going to join as well. I was eight months pregnant, and my due date wasn't for an entire month later. Yet, life has a way of delivering surprises. Yassi decided to start his life with one big surprise. So here I was in Montreal on what's known as Erev Shvi Shal Pesach, right before the seventh day of Passover, and I went into labor and had Yassi unexpectedly in Montreal a full month before my due date. Since then, Yassi, you haven't stopped surprising us in the most wonderful way. You surprised me with your drive for Judaism and Hasidish Kai, being on time for Shul and helping out as the cantor or the gabbai or whatever else Kati needs. You surprised me with your ability to get really into something, do things fully, and negotiate for what you want. You surprised me by memorizing an entire 12 chapters of Tanya by heart in honor of your bar mitzvah. Along with the entire bar mitzvah mimer and four different sections of Torah readings. You surprised me with your ability to make your little brother Bensi laugh and take me such good care of him during Hebrew school. Yassi, for your bar mitzvah, you have learned the mimer in depth and by heart, practiced Torah reading, put tefillin on daily for the past two months, and learned the laws and customs of becoming bar mitzvah. You studied hard and put in a lot of work. When you were six years old, I, o I overheard you say, I get no respect in this family. <laughs> and your little brother Levi responded back, well, you're not a mayor or a king, so you don't need any respect. <laughs> Yassi, just seeing the amount of hard work and effort you put into preparing for this milestone deserves tremendous respect. <laughs> and it's all just beginning. Becoming a bar mitzvah is not the final day, but the first day. Up until now, it has been only practice. From bar mitzvah and on, it is the real deal. Even though you are only 13 years old, I consider you an adult. You are responsible for your thoughts, your speech, and your actions. Your bar mitzvah taking your past, your childhood, and using that to catapult into your present with a focus for your future. This is a lifelong process. This is not something that happens in one day. Yassi, you are truly blessed to have so many amazing role models as you move forward in your journey. Starting with first and foremost your Tati, who is the perfect example of a rabbi, shliach, and chassin. You have incredible teachers and uncles, and your Zaidi, whose love of learning is unparalleled, and who spends his time either learning Torah or playing with his grandkids. You are linked to generations of Jewish men who strove and sacrificed for their Yiddishkeit. You can draw on their strength and learn from them. The Rebbe was a visionary. From a very young age, he had a goal, to transform the world into a beautiful place, a majestic home for Hashem. And everything he did during his life and all that he asked people to do on his behalf was to further that goal. When you were four, Yassi, you and your older sister Hadassah and little brother Levi, Hadassah was five, Levi was three, made a lemonade stand together. When I called you in for dinner, you called back, we're out here making our living. <laughs> yes, see, 12 years ago, when we moved to Novato with the goal of building Jewish community and being here for every Jew, that was the living we chose. The life we chose to take on was one of giving and serving, spreading Torah and sharing warmth. You took on that role as well, having the schuss to be the Rebbe's emissary. You share the Rebbe's vision, and we hope you utilize your new strength as a bar mitzvah boy and a fully empowered Jewish neshama to help achieve the goal of making our world all that is meant to be, a palace for Hashem with Mashiach. With your very own dollar from the Rebbe. Rebbe would hand out dollars on Sundays. The line would stretch down Eastern Parkway for hours, full of people waiting for a chance to have a quick second in the Rebbe's holy presence. The Rebbe would say, when two Jews meet, it should benefit a third. 
The Rebbe would give out dollars to be given to tzedakah. Those special dollars handed to one by the Rebbe would be kept, treasured, and in its place, one would give another regular dollar to tzedakah. Receiving a dollar from the Rebbe gives one the responsibility of helping another. Whether it's physical charity with money or, or goods or time and effort, going out of your way for another's benefit is what this dollar represents. Yassi, if there's one thing we know about you, it's that when you are truly needed, you always come through. From babysitting your baby brother, rearranging the shul for different events, teaching Hebrew reading in Hebrew school, helping people put on tefillin or shake the lulav, or welcoming newcomers to shul on Shabbos, we know you have internalized this message. Yassi, we hope you continue to utilize all of the tremendous gifts you have. We love you and are so proud of you and the young man that you have become today and every day. Woo!